my respects to you. No, no, that looks like stolen goods. I won't buy that. Let's talk about the price. Aye. Is this enough? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Very well, I agree. God be with you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me, and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. 
I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage, rape, and slaughter. Or so the tales have it. Of course, all armies do that, but them barbarians take pleasure in it. Asparagus that'll cut you in half, and cucumbers that'll cure one. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty to? Sarazi Kobola. Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then, make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Jesus, look where you're going.
Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You're too early. We'll meet in the afternoon down by the church. All right. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget. I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lypa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto-notarius, the scribe. The people, come up 
and the jail. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Implements, instruments, and tools. Everything for work and home. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. You won't go to the church. Go back to York. I have to go to Russia tomorrow. The they tell me Zeratzik has made... And my respects to you. Well then, what does the be? Are you going or not? Yeah. Mind you, don't cross me, witch. I swear to God, that's the last time I'll ask nicely. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks... My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. Ha, 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 ha. Why should I? Are you sure everything in your business is in order, Master Armourer? What are you trying to say? Just checking whether you're aware of the town ordinance saying the furnace of the forge must be at least two L's away from the nearest wooden building? Of course I know. So I can go to the rat house for the measure and check it? You know fire hazards are taken very seriously here. No need. I wouldn't want to put you to any trouble. Well, you can save me a lot of trouble by ending this little disagreement here reasonably. All right. I'll let her stay. Ah, well, that didn't hurt, did it? Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You're welcome. Just stay clear of trouble in future, understood? Of course. Thank you. That Good thing a bite to eat. You'll be in that fool's bad books for a while. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got How there, are you, your Henry? folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with Dear him. People, Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally Six hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. Zahans's father, old Sayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming Henry, soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. By. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We 
We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant, Wolfram Bruder. Bruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are not too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Ah, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right. I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble, and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice, too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Hey... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalix. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. with a bite to eat. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. 
When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. I could do with a bite to eat. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Henry, I'm glad you saw Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. Yeah. Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. For God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! God save you, Henry. Oh, got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? I'd rather not. We should go back on duty. All right, if you're so keen. Let me finish my ale, at least. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't mm -hmm. it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. What is it? I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Good day, Henry. God be with you, Henry. May the Lord watch over you, Henry. God save you, Henry.
white guy four years ago in childbirth. God save, Henry. <sighs> And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean... The beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save their bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, to but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. 